development initiative, we've got a couple of points, uh, and, and we'll use this to guide our discussion here in closing. Uh, you know, we, we really started that uh, back in September with listening sessions, and that was where we brought the education champions together to listen to what the concerns were about <coughs> two of our industry sectors, manufacturing and logistics distribution. And then taking those concerns, looking for some opportunities uh, to share information, maybe develop uh, new programs, uh, changes to curriculum, and then having the education champions come back and present the programs that they do currently have in place and what the <coughs> opportunities are and for our existing businesses to see and, and understand what those are. And so we completed that with our seminar on the 14th of November. We found through the course of that that we built some very good relationships between our various educational institutions and our local businesses, and which was very good. And so now we're going to move that to other industry segments as we move forward. We're already now looking for our next community business and industry partnership events that we'll do in 2014, and we'll develop those and provide those to you. But uh, we think we had uh, we had some good results with that. And we'll piggyback on what he just said. <laughs> um, so, um, you know, Megan has done some press releases on this and then just the word of mouth of us just talking to contacts. This is just, it's been a really great initiative. And while I know that our community has done very similar things in the past, and we talked about this in the meeting, and um, one of the school systems brought it up. You know, just re-energize that those were good programs that maybe we need to start working on a little bit more and re-energizing them back in our school system so it brought that back. But also, there's not a lot of communities that do this. And um, this is, it's, it's great for our community. It's one of the most important things that we can show to consultants when we talk to them and talk to industries looking to come to our area that we are investing in our future workforce because we have to be able to provide the skilled workforce to them, whether it be um, an associate's degree or accreditation from the technical college, or it be a four-year degree through Valdosta State University. A child coming out and graduating from school now is not going to be, get a job without the, a skill set, some type of skill set. And they, we talked about that um, yesterday in a consultant's panel, is your community needs to be able to show us your story as it relates to workforce development. That's why I think this is so important that we we did this and that we continue to do it in some way, shape, or form. So um, Georgia Trend was really impressed with how we handled this, and so they want to talk with us a little bit more about it. Um, like I said, I've been um, I went to Engage last year. We'll talk about it. They called and asked if I'll participate on the panel to talk about this initiative and how it's had a different approach so um, congratulations to the staff and everything they did to work through this they worked hard and they did a really good job so thank you for your participation in our existing industry so it was good and we're looking forward to the future ones that we can work on so, very good uh, just a couple of uh, more things uh, 